The player movement is maybe the most straightforward thing to start with. Only that the Cartesian axis we are using has the Y flipped, so positive Y means going down, negative Y means going up. X is normal, right positive, left negative. This is an important bit about the template that I have used for this project, which you can download in the description. Afterwards we listen for player input, then we use a vector to store the direction that we move in with whatever constant or non-constant speed we choose to use. Anyway, more about dashing in future videos. Okay, player movement is terrific, but if the player goes out of bounds, we should do some checking with the screen resolution. A bit of a thing to mention here, we are not instantly moving the player, but we are using an intermediary vector to check if that position is valid. Notice that the player is drawn to the screen without checking if it goes out of bounds. If we were to draw pixels outside of the screen, the program would explode, I mean crash. Okay, time apart. Use a dumb array to hold the tiles which make up the map. Because it's a tile map. I even added blank tiles, which are space, basically. This code also handles tiles that are not the perfect size, so just use tiles that are using the full resolution, and you'll be just fine with less code, unlike me. The tile map is cool because we can do our own levels with it by editing the array. For the obstacles, I also added a combining mechanic. If we have multiple blocking tiles near each other, we will just make a big obstacle and all of those tiles will share that single obstacle. You might or might not need that. I did it because I was really annoyed at how my bounce mechanic worked with obstacle tiles next to each other compared to a bigger one. Now comes the fun part. We need to move the player and the tile map to create the illusion of movement. To do that, we have to move the tile map in the opposite direction that we want the player to move in and move the player when we reach the edge of the tile map. So that is exactly what I'm doing here. Note that I first tried to move the tile map, but if we reach an edge, then I try to move the player. Of course, besides checking for the edges, I also do obstacle detection. That just takes a position, I mean a whole square, and checks its corners, and divides them by the size of the tiles to get what we are potentially colliding with. Remember that this is just the intermediary position, and our player or tile map is not there yet. <laughs> Imagine if I implemented a full collision system, that would be a good future project. New problem, we can't write pixels out of the screen, so we need to partially render the tile map. This bit of code is not very intuitive at first glance, but just imagine one lonely tile at the edge of the screen and try to think systematically about every corner case. And yeah, you, you get it, so next time be ready to overcomplicate the spawning of stuff. Peace!